Welcome back YouTube, Captain here, Quinn here with another uh, fly tying video for you. Um, today we're going to tie uh, kind of like a, a, a wicked fly, but it's, uh, it's kind of like a version of green butt skunk meets hobo spay. It's really t fun to tie, which in the end I think really is probably the most important thing because I don't, I'm not convinced that steelhead really care too much. I just, I think if you get a fly in front of an aggressive steelhead, I'm not sure they're too concerned much with color, uh, shape, or size. Uh, the pickier they get, for sure, and if they tune into a natural kind of hatch and they start sipping dries off the surface, then definitely you're going to want to match that because in the end they are trout. But um, I think tying flies that you enjoy tying and flies that you've caught fish on, so your confidence is up, is probably one of the biggest factors. So for this fly, I don't know what the the name of it should be, maybe because it's kind of like a hobo spay or a hobo spay with like a green buck skunk. Maybe we'll call it the hobo skunk. Um, and we're gonna start the hobo skunk uh, by you know I'm using a size five, so a little bit smaller. I like to fish smaller in clear water for sure, um, and it's the waters are pretty clear right now, so I'm gonna go for it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is. Uh, tie the green butt and that gives the green butt skunk its name. Um, I'm gonna just roll the dubbing onto the line like I do. I don't bother with dubbing loops. Um, I'll secure some wire. Actually no I won't. I'll do the butt first. And I'm not gonna bother with a, a tail at this point. I'm just gonna leave a nice green butt there. There we go. And then I'm going to put some uh, some ribbing, gold ribbing. And I'm just going to secure that to the body there. Wrap it back. And then I'm going to take um, a green, green hackle and I'll secure it from the top so the hackle progressively gets uh, longer as you wrap it, which you'll see. Do, do, do. Just trim the top there. Yeah, fly tying is a funny thing, you know. I, it's, it's, it's a nice hobby that uh, it's, it's enjoyable, it's peaceful, it's relaxing, and uh, I guess it's just everything a hobby should be. And then it's even more exciting because you get to go take the fly, your, your kind of your experiment, and you get to go apply it in the field and see if you can actually, if it actually works. Now I'm going to take some purple dubbing here. I'm going to secure it. This is going to be the body. And I'm going to wind the hackle through here. and the ribbing. You know, I, you really, I mean with steelheading you'd probably be just as successful if you just found that fly that you really liked to tie and really liked to fish and you had confidence in it and you just never took it off. You know, I have friends who they, they, they'll put one fly on and that fly will stay on until the fly is destroyed or, um, or gets lost and, uh, and they catch fish um, so more often than not. So now I, I got the purple, I've wrapped it up, got the nice body there. I'm going to take the green hackle and I'm just going to work that up as well. And that's giving it a nice, a nice look there. I mean, if you would bite it, the fish probably would too. So I like the way that looks. I'm gonna crank that on there. Secure it into place. 
And this, this green hackle, when I'm gonna, I'm gonna put secure some marabou on here. It's gonna kind of give the marabou extra action. First, I'm, before I do that though, I'm gonna in, wind my gold ribbing through here to kind of lock the dubbing and the hackle into place. So when the steel head smashes this, there's a choo-choo train going through in the background there. Nice sound, I love the sound of trains. Um, not as much as I love the sound of screaming reels though. Uh, so we're just working the, um, which hopefully we'll experience tomorrow. We're heading out for the day, pursuit of some steel heads. So hopefully we're lucky. Um, luck is a huge factor in fishing. I think, for me anyway. You gotta be in the right place at the right time. That's what Bob Clay says. And I mean, if Bob Clay says it, then it's gotta be true. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He's a beauty. He is a beauty. Okay. So we <laughs> We've wound that up there, and good, it's looking good. I like the looks of that. I will fish this fly tomorrow. No, I'm not adding any bead head or anything. Um, what I might do is I might put a little bit of guinea here, just kind of at the top part of the hackle, just to give it a little bit of pizzazz because I think it might look good. I think it might look good. And we'll find out soon. Yeah, I was right. It looks really good. You know, you can just kind of experiment and play around when your foot tying flies, and that's what I love about it. I've, I've created some god-awful creations in my fly tying um, career over the years and and I've created some pretty awesome ones some that work some that have never worked and some that will probably never even ever be fished um, at the end of the day I guess you gotta like the fly enough to tie it on oh, broke my thread there that happens you know, I, Pulling too hard, getting too keen, getting too eager. Just work my way, work the thread back through. Don't worry guys, we're back in business. Okay, I'm gonna trim the, what an amateur. Okay, I really like the way that this fly is taking shape. Now, I'm gonna take some purple marabou, and I'm not gonna do too many wraps. I might do one, two wraps tops. And I'm gonna secure this to the front of the fly. And this is gonna just provide some pretty deadly, deadly action here. One, two. And that's all you need. Hopefully you guys have been getting out fishing a bit this winter, this fall. Hopefully you all had great fishing seasons. And uh, I guess we're almost getting ready for some ice fishing. I got one more layer of marabou that I'm gonna put on. But before I do that, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of 
a little bit of tinsel here. I'm gonna go with actually this Ice Dub Silver Holographic. And I'm gonna use it as just some flash. Just, I don't know. More for me than the fish, probably. Put some on the top. Put some on the bottom. And then I'll just pull it back and get ready for my last wrap of marabou, which is going to be light blue to kind of contrast against the purple. And you don't need much. Nice and sparse so the fly will still get down. We have no weight on this. good action I can tell might be able to pass for a leech or a stonefly nymph maybe a minnow but really doesn't look a ton like anything that the fish might naturally encounter in their day-to-day -day. so it's more of an attractive kind of fly an attractant uh, more like a lure than a fly really which a lot of flies are today and there's nothing wrong with that you know in the end all that matters is that you're out there enjoying yourselves in nature with some people that you love and you're fishing and respectful while well, respecting the fish and the environment that's surrounding you get out there have fun Share that experience, enjoy yourself, and respect the fish and the resource. There you go, whip finish. Wham bam, thank you ma'am, and we're done. So that's one more fun steelhead fly that you can tie, uh, kind of the, the hobo skunk. Um, do the blow test quickly for you. So you can see how sexy it's going to look and uh, get out there, start swinging some flies, do some tying to yourself and till next time, don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends. Thanks for watching.